Welcome to the show. This is another Blue Radio. My name is George. On this week's show, we're going to be discussing the press. My guests this week will be Amanda de Cadenet, Ross Benson, Lloyd Grossman, and Richard Young. Now, a lot of celebrities have had this to say about the yes. press. <laughs> you just said that to make yourself sound more posh. <laughs> How would you describe yourself? I'm a social um, society photographer. Do you like the name paparazzi? Um, yeah, it's a nice word, actually. It's from the Dolce Vita. Yeah, that's it was right. It named after the photographer, wasn't it? That's right. Yes, the character. That's right. Oh, oh, Marcello. This little Italian yeah. man wandering around all the cafes in Rome, photographing yeah, the right. cafe society, having their cappuccinos Sounds and espressos. Really what about you, Amanda? How would you describe <laughs> yourself if you had to give yourself a title? Well, my TV presenter, reformed wild channel. That's what I get called at the moment. Bucks so. and Beauty. Oh, no. I'm not talking books anymore, though. I'm not. What <laughs> about you, Lloyd? Um, retired economist turned fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> Like now, as, you're, as, you're the, as you're the person on the like table that's that yeah. had the most, I mean, you, you do get a lot of publicity. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you have a, a good relationship with the media? Um, I feel that, that it can it can go either way if you're doing something that's um, you know that's worth doing. If you're doing anything at all and it's written about, then it's in a positive way. I've been lucky that presenting you know the word I've had good publicity from. You know, people could have really slagged me off for doing it. Some people it. have, though, haven't they? Yeah, but I've had more good press than bad, so um, it can swing any time. If I do a movie that's really crap, then I'm sure I'll, I'll get slagged off, and deservedly so if it's crap, you know. But at the moment, it's good. But do you not worry about having being in? I mean, you, you said earlier before we started the show that you have contacts at newspapers and that you you feel well, like you have a friendly relationship. Do you not worry that <coughs> at some time it could turn on you, it could backfire? Yeah, well, I know that. I mean, when I when you say that I have a relationship with them, if people, if journalists get hold of my my portable phone number or whatever, and they call me, then I'm not going to say piss off and put the phone down. You know, I, I don't. I always do. Yeah, I don't because I think that, that they're doing their job and for whatever they've written about me. Well, I only know. do it if Rick Sky calls me. I always say. Well, he he does no, Jill Sky Pringle, I'll do that. Yeah. And Linda Duff. Rick Sky. Exactly. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> so Ross, name but, is Rick Sky. Ross, do you actually phone? Do you actually right, get people's do. personal phone numbers and phone them up? Well, I've got a lot of people's personal phone numbers, yes. But have they given them to you? Or yes, of course. If the need comes, then I'll phone them up. But if, what if it's someone that hasn't given you their personal number? And you, well, I'll look it up in the phone book. Most people are in it. And um, Not everyone. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone does know my number. Why do we look you up? Under B or G? Um, under utilities. <laughs> 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 what, what, do you, what do you think about, um, you know, do you think if someone like courts publicity, <coughs> they deserve everything they get? I think that, Regardless uh, well, if you take is. the view that Joseph Conrad took, which is that the, you know, the truth is not contained in, inside the nut, the whole nut is the truth, then... Who's it, Joseph Conrad? He wrote, I was uh, about to say that, but... He wrote books <laughs> like... <laughs> the greatest <laughs> English novelist, <laughs> Lord oh, really? Jim. Well, from uh, sure I would have well, I'm, I'm from Woolwich, so I've got an excuse. What about <laughs> He wrote Lord Jim. Lord Jim. Right. The Heart he of Darkness, Polish. which became Apocalypse Now. Yeah. Okay. Things like that. Nostrum. So, you know, if you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're looking at the whole person... I read so many books in my years. <laughs> if you're looking at the whole personality, then obviously the things that people do away from their public life may, in fact, give you an insight into what those people are like. Do you think it only works... Do you think people who read newspapers really want to know? Well, otherwise, presumably, they wouldn't buy newspapers. Well, do you think they'd buy them anyway? Well, for what? Sports page. For something to do. TV page. Boop. I think that, well... <laughs> do you draw any comparisons between yourself and someone like Madonna? I mean, you know, she, people say that she was, like, really... I like her, you know, her driving force, which is I want to do what I want to do, and I, no one's really going to stop me. I think that's admirable. What's the press opinion of Madonna? I th well, I think she's a wildly successful entertainer. I mean, she's brilliantly manipulated her career and uh, has survived for ten years so doing. Yeah, she's great. I mean, you can't knock it. Yeah. I mean, the and she's one of the most famous people in the world. Yeah. Yeah. But she's press, also great. The, photograph. the press love her. I mean, we had a good time with her last year, you know, when she was here last summer, and she was absolutely brilliant following her I around she to was all various punching. restaurants. I thought she was punching. No, she wasn't punching. Her minders were punching. But she must allow them to do that. No, I don't think she has any control of it whatsoever. That's They're getting paid to do it. No, they, that's rubbish. That's rubbish. If you hire a bouncer, like you well, you must know. Well, I do know. If you hire a bouncer and they're mistreating a fan, you know, depending on what sort of artist you are, I'm you, sure you she tell has, them not to, I'm but sure they she are has quite an employed um, bouncer that go out there and say, look, I want you to be up all these photographers because they're not getting in my way. But they she do. She loves it. And anyway, the best pictures <laughs> at that particular time when she was running over Hyde Park wasn't so much of her. It was getting the wide shot of all the bouncers running around her and watching all the photographers kind of... <laughs> 
you know, trying to keep up with her breath. and out of breath. I mean, but she must know if she goes jogging. That you, I mean, she knows that you're oh, going to chase her. It. I think it's all she quite loved loved stage it. management. Yes, because yeah, yeah, otherwise yeah, you don't go jogging. Yeah. They made great pictures, great stories. It's like what I was saying about you, know, <laughs> you kept her on the front page for a whole week. She was here. Yeah, you yeah. don't go to Langans unless you want to be photographed. You don't go jogging in Hyde Park yeah. unless you want twenty-five photographers at midday when it was at lunch. So, so at the end, so at the end of that, do you think whatever happens to her? Is, is, you know, I mean, if she, see, if, you know, I think if you caught the, the press like that, that much, then you can't really have any time off, can you? Well, you you've got to do it 24 hours a day all your life. If you're in the entertainment business, which she clearly is, then in a sense you are reliant on the press yeah. to keep your, your name in front of the public's eye. And that's yeah. very important. But, but if you look back a couple of years ago, or three, three or four years ago, people yeah. were really slagging off Madonna yeah. badly. Yeah. I wasn't going to mention myself. Yeah. But and they were slagging off really badly and they were saying she was finished and she's... So do you no, think she's a long way from being Do you finished. think the press do play it? Do you think you overstate your role in people's careers? Well, it's a bit like sort of Gaza, isn't it? You know, sort of one day. No, no, so compare him to Madonna. Yeah. Well, why not? So, you know, one day well, he he's was a, flash in the pan, and she wasn't. Well, no, he's still around, isn't he? When one day you're a public well, hero, and the next day you're not. Advert. You know, it's. Uh, but she has very carefully hmm? kept herself Gaza. in the public oh. eye. Oh. I. <laughs> but he's a good football player, isn't he, Cassie? Yeah, he's very good football. So, I mean, that's what's important, really, in today. Oh, she's a very good entertainer. Yeah, she's a great entertainer. She, I mean, her she being in the public eye is just part of her sales pitch. I mean, she's got to do it. Okay, we're going to come back and talk to you in a minute about Through the Keyhole. This is their five star. <laughs> oh! So, one of your kind of like victims, if you like. Guests, yeah. Um, <laughs> they, I mean, people, people were sort of like saying their house looked like a Chinese takeaway, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Well, they, well, how do they how do they feel about that? Well, presumably, I, I don't really know. I mean, they were uh, you know they volunteered to be on the on the program, and then how how people react to what they see on the program is something that's completely out of my control. But um, you know, I, I think they realised that it was an opportunity for some good publicity. It was a program that was going to be watched by twelve and a half million people. I think most people would take that opportunity to promote a record or to promote themselves. How easy was it to get people to actually be on that show? Well, it's, um, it's easy to get people who want to be on it, and it's impossible to get people who don't want to be on it. So, you know, it's like all publicity. Um, you know, it's, it's very easy to get someone who is in the public eye for various reasons. It would be impossible to get Mrs. Thatcher on it, for example. But you as tried. Yes, yes, we try constantly. And, um, and fail. And fail constantly, you know, supposedly for security what, reasons. I wonder what but at home in Dulwich is really like. The mind boggles. Are there any things you can't show? Because I've got some interesting things in my house, and I'm sure if you came to my house, you wouldn't show them. That's, I would actually let you come into my house if you show the things I wanted you to show. Well, yeah, I, I mean, we do. Go on no, I mean, we only, show, <laughs> we, we only show things that people want us to show because, I mean, we're not uh, investigative journalists. We're not the SAS sort of coming down, or Santa Claus, coming down someone's chimney and having a look around. Um, Why not? It's. <laughs> because I think that would probably be an unacceptable form of television. You know, it is entertainment. So is there anything you wouldn't... I mean, are there any times when you just wish the press would totally leave you alone? Or do you, do you love it all the time? No, um, this morning, when I had like four hours sleep last night, and a hangover, and I got off the plane, and I got like met by sort of six photographers, um, that's when I thought, oh no, this is really too much. And that's when everyone on the plane starts looking at you. And they don't, they don't know who the hell you are anyway. <laughs> you're such a big What? <laughs> what are they waiting for you? <laughs> well, that, maybe, maybe they're waiting for someone else, but that was just one time. They probably spotted you reason. and I thought, let's go. I don't know. So what, mm -hmm. if, if, do you spend much time at the airport, Richard? Uh, when I go to America, mm -hmm. Paris or something. But do you, you don't do that airport? What, a picture or photograph? No, I think the last kind of, I think the last big thing I did at the airport was probably Madonna arriving, which was quite well, you actually took photos of one of your colleagues being almost killed. Yeah, yeah, you got your legs <laughs> stuck in so. the car. Oh, poor <laughs> Another Richard Young excuse. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. As you laid flat, you know, kind of, you know, so on the floor. How much, I mean, <laughs> am I allowed to ask you how much you would get for a photo like that of a fellow colleague being... Yes, how much do you get? Yeah, oh, God, how much do I get? That's a good question. Yeah. Yeah. Let's bring up the yeah. Daily Express accounts department right now. <laughs> what, do they, what do they do with the ones... I don't know, he pays me. Why do you, why do you drive a more expensive car than I do, Richard? <laughs> you don't actually, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Ask him, Andy, there must be times when, I mean, I get photographed all the time, regardless of whether I'm dressed up or going anywhere. You know, if I go somewhere, I get photographed. They never use the pictures. Why do they bother taking them? What do they do? Oh, we need them in the library. We need an yeah. upload. 